QuickScan uses the existing file directory on the source volume and the scan typically finishes within a few minutes. We recommend trying the QuickScan first in cases where your startup drive fails to boot into the operating system or when an external drive fails to mount. To get started, once you have Data Rescue 3 open, click on Start New Scan. In step 1, we must choose a source for the scan. For a quick scan, you'll want to choose a volume as a source, and not the entire drive. Once you have this volume selected, click on Next at the bottom right of the window. In step 2, we must choose a task. Choose Quick Scan as a task. This should be the first option. Once you have it selected, click Start at the bottom right of the window. Now if you get a warning for invalid workspace, this would be because the current workspace is located on the source volume. The workspace must be located on a separate volume. Click OK and then you must choose a different volume to use as the workspace. Once you have selected a proper workspace and you click choose, the scan will start running. The progress bar towards the bottom of the window will show you an approximate time remaining. The quick scan should complete within a few minutes, but can take up to an hour or longer in more severe cases. If the scan takes up to an hour or longer, you may want to consider canceling the scan and try cloning the drive instead. Now when the quick scan completes, you will be brought to the scan results. There will be a folder named Found Files. If you expand this folder, you should see another folder named after the volume that you scanned. This folder will contain the existing file directory found on this volume. If this is an operating system drive, you may want to navigate to the users folder to find your user data. If you're looking for specific folders or files, you can drill down to the location and choose these folders or files for recovery. For example, if you wanted to just recover a folder such as documents, or your pictures folder, you can just mark these folders for recovery. If you want to recover everything that was found during the scan, you can just go up and then mark the entire found files folder for recovery. Once you have made your selection, you can go ahead and click on recover at the bottom right of the window. After you choose Recover, you must choose a destination for the recovered files. This must be on a separate drive from the source. Once you have selected the destination, you can click on Open, and the recovery will begin. When the recovery is complete, you can go ahead and click on Reveal, and what this will do is open up the Recovered Files folder. When the Recovered Files folder is open, you will want to go through the files in this folder to make sure that all of your important files were recovered and that they open. If any of your files do not open, you may want to go back and run a deep scan or contact ProSoft support for additional assistance. This will bring a conclusion to our video guide for running a quick scan in Data Rescue 3 for Mac. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any other questions, visit our website at www.prosofteng.com.